This is the question asked in today's skill rack daily challenge. So in the first line of our input we are given two integers. The first integer is n and the second integer is k. So now we have to form 10 new integers by replacing the kth digit in the integer n. So here k is equal to 2. So we have to replace the second digit in the integer n. So the integer n is 1234 and the second digit is 2. So we have to replace this second digit and form 10 new integers and print the integers in a sorted way. So the second digit will be replaced with the digits from 0 to 9. So first the 2 will be replaced with 0. So this integer would be the smallest possible integer to be formed. And now we should print our second integer. So again the second digit will now be replaced with the digit 1. So this would be the second smallest integer out of the 10 integers. And now the third digit will be we should replace the second digit with the digit 2. So this is the third integer. And then the fourth integer would be we will be replacing the second digit with 3. So this is how we will be forming those 10 integers. So we will be replacing the second digit with the digits from 0 to 9. So those 10 integers will be our expected output. So in our expected output we can see that the first integer the second digit in the first integer is 0 and then for the second integer the second digit is 1 and then for the third integer it is 2 and then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these are the 10 integers that are formed by replacing the kth digit in the integer n. And we can also see that these 10 integers are printed in sorted way. So this is how we should be printing our output. Now let us see how to write a C program for this. So first I am creating a new character array named n of size 20. And then in the second line I am creating a new integer k. So we will accept our input integer n in a string format and store it into the character array n. So in the scanf statement first I am including percentage %s and then a percentage %d. So the input integer n will be converted into a character array and stored into the character array n and the integer k will be stored into the integer k. So now we have to replace the kth digit with the digits from 0 to 9. So I am creating a for loop and this for loop iterates through the characters 0 to 9. So char i is equal to the 0 and then i less than or equal to 9. So we will be iterating through all the characters from 0 to 9. So in every iteration of this loop, we will be setting n of k minus 1 is equal to i. So the kth digit will be replaced with the character i. And here we are including k minus 1 because the characters will be stored from the index 0. So k minus 1 will be the kth position. So in every iteration of this loop, the kth digit of the character array will be updated. So now we have to convert our character array into an integer. So to do that we will make use of this atoy function. So this atoy function will convert the character array into an integer. So in the printf statement I am giving the specifier percentage %d and then I am converting the character array into an integer and printing it as our output. So we will get our expected results. Now let us check our program with the sample test cases. So this is our sample input 1. And our expected output is here. So we are also getting all the 10 integers. And now I have given the sample input 2 and our expected output is here. So the first integer is 5 and then 105, 205, 305. So like that it goes on. So we are also getting the correct integers as our output. So this is the logic behind today's daily challenge. Thank you for watching.